the next thing to happen, this is very Christian now, would be the rapture or taking away of the church from the earth. And then all of these things begin to happen. The final battle for Jerusalem, the wars of Gog and Magog, and so forth. But there's no end of people telling you that we're on the cusp and on the edge of these final battles or these final wars. From our vantage point, from our vantage point, we are waiting for two things to happen. We're waiting for the Lord Jesus Christ to come toward the earth, number one. And then we're waiting for the Lord Jesus Christ to come to the earth, number two. The first one is a flyby. He's not coming to the earth. He's coming from heaven toward the earth to meet those believers and be caught up together in the air, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 plainly tells us, because of the language used, we call that the rapture, rapture of the church, harpazo, the snatching away by force of believers on the earth is the Greek Great term. Great disappearance. The world will reel with concern from watching this vanish before their eyes and all caught on camera. For his people, it will be in the twinkling of an eye between the resurrected dead and the raptured. This is the rapture, the next event on God's prophetic agenda for the earth. Are you ready? Which is gone, gone into heaven. Antichrist will come in and desecrate the temple set on the throne in the temple, showing himself that he's God in the book of Revelation, claiming to be deity and demanding that everyone worship him, issuing a mark, a number, or a name to be each person to sport as a statement of their affinity with his kingdom. And those that don't get the mark, the number, or the name printed on them will have their heads cut off, not be allowed to buy or sell and have their heads cut off. Be an, be an economic crime to not have the number economic crime so it'll have to do with the transfer of funds and money and stuff to mark the symbol it'll be given out at that time and second we're waiting for the lord to come to the earth in event number one, all believers living at that time will be taken upwards. In event number two, all believers who are up already will come down to the earth with the Lord Jesus Christ. That's his second coming, event number two. The first is the rapture of the church. The second event is the second coming. The second coming is when the Lord sets up his kingdom on the earth. 